In this tutorial, I am going to show you how you can completely uninstall XAMPP from your device. So for it, just go to your search engine and here you need to go to the settings. So here just search for setting and here you can see settings. Click on it. Then you will see something like this. From here you need to come to this app option. Here you can see apps. Click on apps and here you can see install apps. Just click on install app and then you will see all your installed software or apps. So here you can see XAMPP and if you do not see XAMPP, just search over here the XAMPP and you will be able to find it. So just find the XAMPP, then you will see three dot option here. Just click on three dot, then here you can see uninstall option. Just click on uninstall, then click again uninstall. And it will take some time, a few seconds, like 10 to 20 seconds to uninstall. So here it will pop up something like this. Just click OK or Yes. Then click Yes again. And there you can see it is uninstalling our ZAN. So it will take like uh, 20 seconds to uninstall. And there you can see uninstall is complete. So just click OK. And it will ask you for restart your device. So I'm going to say no here and right now we will go to our folder and go to our local DC then we'll go to XAMPP and there you can see there's few things over here so what I'm going to do is from here I'm just going to delete this XAMPP folder so here you can see our XAMPP is somehow open somewhere so let me just check in and over here you can see it is by default running so what you can do is that we are going to open tax manager and I'm going to look for Zam over here. And here you can see Zam. I'll just select this and then click on Interrupts. We can now close this. And now we want to delete this Zam folder. And there you go. So right now Zam is completely uninstalled for our device. So this is how you can uninstall Zam from Windows. I hope this tutorial was useful to you. If you have any question or suggestion, just let me know in the comment section. Make sure to subscribe and I hope to see you in the future tutorials.